What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you some of the iOS 7 jailbreak tweaks that I've been using on my device. Now keep in mind this is only going to work for some devices. You will just have to test it out and see if it works for yours. Now what I'm using is the iPhone 5 and this is just because the mobile substrate has not been updated just yet so once it is updated then hopefully most of these tweaks are going to be working for all devices. Now all tweaks are still in the process of being upgraded so just be patient it is going to happen within the next couple of days actually Sorik just updated Cydia and if you haven't done so go ahead and update that so jumping into the tweaks here the first one I want to show you is flux this has been working for me and if you don't know what flux does it gives you that orange tint that really dulls down the brightness and it's a whole lot easier to read especially at night so you can see if I enable it right there if you slide this down it gives you that orange tint so you can see it's a whole lot easier on the eyes especially when reading things at night this is an awesome tweak I highly recommend anybody that has an eye device to get this now next up here we have iFile now iFile is pretty much fully functional the only issue you're gonna have with it is you can see right there registration failed but I have actually purchased this I mean I don't even remember when a long time ago but you will get this error even though that you have purchased this but other than that you can still go through all of your uh, system folders everything like that everything is fully functional on iFile next up if you haven't noticed already five icon dock you can see them overlaying each other down there but it still does work so definitely a cool tweak next up we have switch spring and this tweak actually allows you to swipe up on the springboard right here and it gives you a couple options you can either restart your springboard or you can quit all the applications that are running in the background so let's go ahead and quit all the applications and you can see here if we pull up our app switcher nothing else is running there if we swipe up again you still have that option to restart your springboard I'm not gonna do that but it does work you can check out my full review on my channel if you want to next up we have swipe selection so if we go into our notes here you can see if I tap on this this actually moves the cursor just by swiping across the keyboard and this is a must-have for me because this is very useful I'm so sick of having to hold down and manage that little cursor with this magnifying glass it's so much easier with swipe selection so definitely check that out next up is the hidden springboard settings and if you didn't see my most recent video you can get a full review of that and exactly how to install it I will put the directions of how to install it in the description below so you guys can install this if you want to but you just swipe up on the bottom of the screen bring up the control center and you're gonna see springboard settings down here now the first thing you'll notice is this control center looks completely different than it usually does you can tell the uh, background dims a whole lot more than it usually does and that's due to the springboard settings as well as all of these highlighted toggles and sliders on the control center are actually blue and you can change the color of that in the springboard settings. so if we just jump in here real quick I'll show you just a few things actually I'll just show you this the slow animation spring you can see if I bring up the app switcher everything moves incredibly slow so I mean there's a bunch of different stuff that you can mess with in springboard settings I highly recommend you to get this and just mess with the stuff always remember that if you screw something up and you don't like how it is or if you just want to start over you can always tap on restore defaults and that's going to bring it all the way back now before we jump out of this I do want to show you that you can change uh, there it is the control center colors so here are all the different colors that you can change it to you have pink gray teal yellow orange blue green so you just tap on one of these tap done and then there you go it changes that right up and next up we have accelerate now if we just go into the settings here you can tap on accelerate and enable it and then you can actually change the acceleration how fast animations go so you can see this is Ferrari speed you have impulse drive Superman Ultraman warp speed and then you also have some slower ones down here so if you wanted to switch that up just a little bit let's go to slow and there's no respring required for this so you can see everything's a little bit slower as you open things up and close things let's bring up the app switcher so just a little bit slower wow that's a little buggy alright so let's go back into the settings here make it a little bit quicker or let's make it as fast as possible now you can see it's not as smooth when you do it like this it's a little jittery but nonetheless it still does work 
and next up we have icon rename and it does exactly what you think it would do it allows you to change the name of your icon so if you want to change one up a little bit like this one let's say we're gonna change up the stock application we just want to change it to stock so you, all you have to do is get it into wiggle mode and then tap it one more time and then tap apply now the bad thing about this is that it does respring your device but at the same time it still does work all right, so now that it resprung, you can see that the stock icon actually changed to stocks like I changed it. So there are a few of the tweaks that I've been using since I jailbroke with iOS 7, and I haven't had too many issues with them. Now, some are a little buggy, and you'll notice that when you're messing with them, but still, they work pretty well. Now, keep in mind that a ton of iOS 7 jailbreak tweaks are coming soon, so make sure that you subscribe if you want to see a ton of tweaks. Now, there's going to be a lot of awesome stuff coming because the new UI of iOS 7, I mean, I like iOS 7 a lot, and just the animations that they have to deal with as well as like Touch ID, there's going to be so many different things that they're going to be able to take advantage of for the iOS 7 jailbreak tweaks. And, and if you guys want to stay on top of that, then make sure you subscribe and I'll be making videos on that as soon as they come out. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.